time they didn't drive into the wall, you'd have gone straight into their car? You never ever stop to see the damage that you cause. The insurance will take care of it. Paul, I am telling you, you have to do better. Look, if this is how the rest of the night is going, let me know from now. So we can put on our clothes and go on straight. Fine. Good. I'm gonna make some tea. You want some? Give me a drink. I don't think that's a good idea. We I'll make it. it. All right, I'll make it. How about something like this? Joanna! On scotch it is. So Kevin and Barbara were nice, eh? You know she and I were at you at the same time? Same faculty and everything and we never ran into each other. The world's funny. Look, babe. I know you're disappointed that you didn't win the award tonight, but Globcom is a larger agency. I don't need a motivational speech. I'm just saying that it would have been difficult for you to beat them. And the fact that you were even not How oh, them become a larger agency, Joanna? No, my clients them keep on a thief. So I must go to a bar or something. All I'm saying is that I'm proud of you. They don't waste of time and money. Them don't decide to be them for a long time. Only reason them nominate me is how can buy up the ticket them for the fail pay the bill. I don't know why I'm a follow you and change my mind. Oh, it would be good for the agency, Paul. You attract a lot of clients, Paul. You can imagine all the attention in the win advertising agents of the year. Look, you see next time you say I don't want to do something still top it, you hear me? Hold on, may I talk to myself? Yes. What? I mean, Yes, I will stay out of it. No, you're not talking to yourself. Stupid. So, Ola, that's what the shop, yeah? I'm just trying to change it. Yeah, try to tell me something. It's just that some, you know, I'm a turn. No, I'm a, take it stay, take it stay. <laughs> so the new helper comes tomorrow. I told her to come early so that the two of us can meet her together. I hope this one not for mine, our own business. So, tell me something. What is so nice about Kevin? I guess. You guess? Come now, John. You must have met at least a hundred people tonight. Oh, Paul, that's stretching. So, for you to come home and still be talking about him, you must have made quite an impression. And you didn't hear me talking about Barbara. Is why him, him height, how him dress, how him smell, him jaguar. Don't know all about Joanna. Come on, tell me. All I said was that the man was nice with his wife. Man, you think me never watch you? <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> you are so smart. <laughs> Every single man. All the man wear white, the wind screen me, I look there. Mm. You take man for you, Joanna. You know. Well, me I want in about your secret love. You see, if you ever bring man coming at my house, I'm going to my bed. I need another drink. At this time, make it stronger. I don't think that's a good idea. Because... So 
So what? No good night kiss for your husband. So you're not coming upstairs? Hold on, never caught her. Need to go upstairs and do. Eh? Is who on the call this time, man? Me say who this? I don't know. You have the phone in your hand. And say now. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Eh. They know the voice, so they want so they hang up. Or maybe it just went into the voicemail. So this was a rush to go upstairs, man. Eh? You're expecting a call. Paul, you want me to play the voicemail so that you can hear it? I never recognize the number. Hey guys, where is it? It's just great meeting you. Don't forget your tennis match. Okay, take care. Hmm. 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 Same call you. With your wife. We look you. <laughs> hey? How sweet. You know, I'm going to Why, why, why? You might call you up. So, Ola, you, you, you can't sleep tonight if you don't talk to him. All right, take yourself out there, Mrs. Joanna. Go on, call him back. Paul, this is ridiculous. No, but we want to know so he did have to tell him that they can't spend two minutes with your husband. Call him back. I'm not going to call the woman for this time and night for no foolishness. Hello? Hey, Barbara. Yes, it's Paul. Yes, sorry, so sorry we missed it. Come on, thanks for checking. No, 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 well, Joanna actually wanted to talk to uh, Kevin about their tennis match. Yes. All right, great. Hold on. Hey, Kevin. Um, yes, I was just trying to, co to confirm that I won't be able to make it this weekend. No, 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 not like that, just a commitment that I, I, I forgot about. It's fine. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, great. All right. You feel better now, Paul? Now that you totally embarrass us? People they must think so we are some kind of freak or something. All because you can't control this stupid jealousy. Why are you your voice? It's me talking to our neighbors. So what if you didn't win the award? Deal with it and just get past it. Lawyer Mike. Come on, why are you dragging it? Lawyer Mike. You tell him same pocket of a long to take care of me. I never asked you to take care of me. You know, when you're drunk, you don't make no sense. This argument going anywhere. And just for the record, you are the one who doesn't want me to work. Mm, but I'm certainly not the one that made you barren. You tell him that. Eh? You think same mother left him wife for you? And he's not even a proper woman. Eh? Well, maybe what I need is a proper man. No, I'm not doing this. You're doing me. Oh, just me. Oh, 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 I'm not doing this. Oh, 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 o
man, I'm a horse again, you hear me? Oh, oh, proper man. Sorry, you know, my son, 
Me not. Uh, everything everything all right? Everything all right, sir. Their room there, put a hole me and my tree pick the there. Three? <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> you look like I have to keep a close eye on you. you know? <laughs> so you don't move it in here. <laughs> <laughs> we have some catching up to do. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't mind me asking, so much you know Ghana already, sir. Well, we are still working on our first. Uh, Hopefully God will bless us soon. Mm -hmm. And I bet it's a boy you want, don't you? Well, of course. I'm a cat and family in the mind. So, how many of you are for your boys? None of them. But I don't complain, Mr. Marge. I have to manage a boy for my own now. So where's the father? You want to know that about their business? <laughs> you see me, Miss Amarch? Miss Amarch, I'm not dealing with foolishness, you know. I don't take foolishness from people. I prefer to suffer with them alone than till I suffer and have man a niggle in my ears. Niggle? Niggle? I love it! <laughs> but I show my me work hard on mine then. <laughs> Why, Louise, I always respect a woman who stands up for herself, you know. Look, you're teaching the girls a very valuable thing in life. Yes, Look, anything we can do to help, just let me know. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, I, I guess you ladies can take it from here. I have a meeting to prepare for, so. Yeah? All right, sir. Lad, what a lovely money. You're lucky enough, ain't it? <laughs> so you're not going to work today, ma'am? Oh, no, I don't work. <clears throat> You're just here. Who? Hmm? Sorry, I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> Is there a problem? No, not a problem at all. I'm not a problem. <laughs> I just do see me so much. You can get up and him make breakfast and him. I do everything and him. I got to work and you just wake. It just look a little bit strange to me, that's all. But I don't know, still, I must say, you must demand them things from where you come from. And obviously, this is not where you come from. Yes, ma'am. Well, at least I can't stay home and sweat out the fever. Fever? The man would make you wear the long sleeve, ma'am. I told me to come in some march to me say you're sick. I am having a migraine. Okay, well, I am off. Now, babe, I'll call you when I can, but I'll be home for lunch, okay? You want me to cook up something special for you, Mr. Marge? Ah, <laughs> uh, no offense, Lou. But I only eat my wife's cooking. Oh, <laughs> this is one of the reasons why I love her so much, you know, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. She'll whip up something for me, right, babe? Yes. Now you just have a great first day at work, you hear me? And remember, take care of my wife. Oh, well, that's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. Don't worry, sir. Please keep an eye on her. Why, mom, you're lucky, bud. Okay, what happened? What happened? Let's just get some house roots out of the way first. Yes, ma'am. Whatever happens in this house stays in this house. Yes, ma'am. I don't want to hear about any discussions with other helpers, the people at the yard, absolutely no one. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. Now, when you come to work, you change into your uniform. I have some in the closet in the room. Yes, ma'am. Regular clothing is not allowed in here. Yes. And for heaven's sake, when you come into work, try and dress appropriately. Yes, ma'am. And when you get here, you start with this room. You clean away the breakfast stuff and put them in the kitchen. And then you start with the furniture. I absolutely hate dust. So make sure you dust it every day. Yes, ma'am. The washing machine doesn't need a supervisor. When you put the clothes in, you go and you clean the three guest rooms. Yes, ma'am. In between cycles, you should be able to complete it. Yes, ma'am. You know to use the washing machine, yes? Not yet, ma'am. But Mr. March, promise when I come back from work, it would have shown me how be. There is no need to wait on Mr. March. I can show you how to do that. Yes, And let me just get something clear. Your help is not needed in the master bedroom. I take care of that on my own. Yes, ma'am. The... Patio, the TV room, the den, I guess you can clean that every other day. Yes. And the gardener basically takes care of everything outdoors. Just make sure you get some lunch and maybe a snack in the evenings before he goes. Yes, ma'am. Um, you can drive? Yes, ma'am, but I'm not have a license. For heaven's sake, why not? Well, Mama, I'll be reading because I beat my bad mouth. 
You're in literate in this day and age. So why don't you go and get yourself enrolled in a class? Look here. I need someone who will be able to run my errands from time to time. And I don't want my groceries being transported on a bus or in a taxi. Yes, ma'am. You don't want me to warm up this for your mom because it must be cold by now. No, it's fine. Just clear it away and put it in the kitchen. But if you let me so much, put a whole heap of effort in it, you know, mommy. I am sure. I must have a bit disappointed. I will have some of it later, Lou. You sure you don't want this one? Then you eat it, Lou, since you're so concerned about it. Why don't you eat it? If it is still good with your mama, I would like to go and change my clothes and start my work. Will you see the uniform them there again? They're in the closet in the room. Thank you very much, ma'am. I didn't even ask if you wanted something to eat. Are you hungry? Me good. <laughs> and what does that mean, Lou? You ate or are you going to work hungry? Mrs. March, if it is all the same, what do you see? But I just like to oh, come and work, stay in a little car and do my work and then go out in the yard. Okay. Clearly we got off on the wrong foot. I shouldn't have snapped at you. Yeah, I agree with that. Me work with enough people where you come from to most of the things yeah. said. But you see, as long as my opinion and school fee off a pay, we will take anything. Now go change my clothes now. Just a little bit. All right, then we're gonna start with the bedroom because I don't want the dust to disturb you. All right, let me show you. You want me good, but we're fine, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Hey, 
bitch kitchen bitch. Yeah, but nobody are going there. Yes, man. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> But are you make it happen, you know, mama, the way how you teach me? Hey, miss, this is the first part of me used to work with. Eh? Miss, I don't want to trick you. I'm boring your face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to deal with you. All right, you. enough talking. All Let's right, get back right. to what you're sweeping with. Bro. Yes, go. B. R. E. E. M. Bro. All right, dude. What are you sweeping around? Furniture. Mm -hmm. Furniture. Sound it out. Fern. Ni. Cha. <laughs> F. E. R. N. I. C. H. A. Furniture. Um, um. <laughs> not quite, but I'm not quite a stretcher for today. We can't work on it some more. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, it's so tough, you know. I don't see me never again. But yeah, that's that. But Miss Joanna, I'm not lying, you know. You know, see if you're in the classroom, do a mom. I've been away too long, though. 15 years, I wouldn't even know if we're going to go the right now. What are you doing right now, mom? Do we have to teach them how you teach me? No, like, you know, if we did have a degree and all them things they like you, we don't feel better about us. So, no, no, get me wrong, you know. We don't ask the money to stop a gap and all these things, but no, man. Miss Jonah, you have to waste your talent. I miss it sometimes, but I don't think I'd have fit in. Plus, I don't think the ministry would approve of me teaching people's children how to spell kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you're coming here with your frustration and you want to get out my something, see the wall them there? 